Pokemon Legends Arceus is the highly anticipated Pokemon game that marks a new direction for the series and its January 2022 release date is almost here. Pokemon Legends Arceus is looking like it could be a game that breaks new ground for the series, with a historical setting and some new mechanics. Confirmed for Nintendo Switch, it will act as a prequel to the main series, taking players to a much older version of Pokemon Diamond and Pearl Sinnoh region. Pokemon Legends Arceus is scheduled to launch worldwide on January 28, 2022. Pokemon Legends Arceus looks quite unlike any other effort we've seen so far in the series, and looks to expand on open-world elements found in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Stealth-like elements are likely to play a role in Pokemon Legends Arceus. The recent showcase confirmed that not all Pokemon will react to your presence in the same way, and many will be hostile towards you. Speaking of battling, that element of the series is retained in Pokemon Legends Arceus, featuring the familiar turn-based gameplay. Animations seem to be more theatrical and improved across the board, perhaps in response to a criticism often leveled at Pokemon Sword and Shield where battle animations were somewhat tepid. By throwing Pokeballs containing your partner Pokemon near a wild one, you're able to seamlessly transition into battle, according to the game's website. This might make the game take an approach similar to that seen in the Pokemon anime series, and definitely has our interest peaked. Pokemon fans who have played previous games in the series will benefit from bonuses when they pick up Pokemon Legends, Arceus. According to the game's official site, if you have play records from the Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield game, you'll be able to take on a research request in Pokemon Legends Arceus in which you'll have a chance to add the mythical. The Pokemon Company has shed a little more light on the gameplay loop players can expect in Pokemon Legends Arceus. It appears that the game is not a full open world experience a la Breath of the Wild as it originally seemed and operates more on the basis of the player exploring individual hub areas. We're hoping that the hub-like approach that's been mentioned provides some new and interesting ways to play and explore in the world of Pokemon, feeling simultaneously more diverse and more cohesive than the wild area of Sword and Shield. If Pokemon Sword and Shield got one thing right, it was its eclectic bunch of superbly written characters. We'd love to see this trend continue in Pokemon Legends Arceus, especially when the historical setting could provide all sorts of fun characters and archetypes.